What is up guys? I am John and you are watching Johnny Fabs and today we're working on the front end of our Dotson build. Today I just made up these support brackets for our strut towers to keep that location um, and then I'm going to be making some tubular parts, uh, bend some tubing up for the strut towers and then down to the front frame rails. So I'm going to show you guys. I made up these. This is just one by one. And I tied it into where the hinge or the uh, hood latch used to go. And then I tied it into our subframe. So that way once I cut uh, like I did on this side, um, it's essentially the strut tower's floating. And it's keeping the stock location because I am using the stock uh, struts uh, on this. So we can at least keep the stock location, stock geometry and angle and then build our tubular front end around that. Um, so yeah, and I also got these plates right here. These are welded in, and we're going to extend our rails out uh, with our tubing forward, but that's giving our starting point. So I might grind them up, clean them up, and uh, we also got our side plate is uh, fully welded in to our uh, frame rail. So. That is good to go, and we are going to start adding our tubing to the front end. So I went ahead and cut the rest of this uh, piece out, this structure, and I decided to make up this plate, uh, put some bead rolls in it to give it strength, and then uh, I'm going to put it on right here, and we're going to weld this on, and uh, then we can build off of that. Uh, we were going to tie into the roll cage, but... With it being still, uh, it's, it's just going to be too hard to route it in there and then get a full weld. So without getting a full weld, it's going to be weak. So if we can just build off this, I think it will be strong enough. So I made this plate and then we'll replicate it on that side and we'll build forward on this. So I'm going to go ahead and tack this on and uh, weld it on. Just showing it off, uh, we ended up having to do three bends uh, to make it work to, for the angle, and then uh, we're gonna probably keep this unwelded and then bend exactly the same one for the other side. That way, they're both the, exactly the same. Um, so, yep, this is our first bar done. Got our down bars uh, welded in and our bars here welded in and then we made these plates those are fully welded in and they have a bead roll too in them for uh, more strength uh, so yeah we got everything welded in now we're gonna move on to the strut towers so I gotta figure out how we're gonna do that uh, but we're gonna redo it with tubing and then some plates with uh, adjustable uh, uh, coilover mounts so we're gonna get working on that but we're giving you guys update got most of it uh, done up front so yep all right guys so I got these uh, strut tower hoops made up and fully welded in uh, we're with, I went ahead and made these plates uh, it's like an eighth inch thick steel and then I broke it to match our strut tower angle that way we keep our uh, 
strut tower geometry the same for our caster and then uh, yeah cut it to fit and then probably going to get it shaped up a little bit better that one's tacked in and then the three holes for the top hats are drilled on that one uh, we're going to do the same thing on this side and then uh, probably tack this one in uh, and there's a lot of space back here uh, I think I want to do some like dimple dies back here uh, but we don't have those yet so I think I'm going to just tack it in and then we'll come back and fully weld it once we do it because there's about this much space without the top hat I can show you on this side uh, so this would be underneath but on top you kind of see there's all this room and I think it would look really nice with some dimple dies on this plate uh, just to give it a little bit more flair and then once we do that then we can fully weld it in and uh, our strut tower should be done after that but yeah that's a little update on our tubular front end we uh, also are going to do a down support off of this one down to the frame rail so we'll show you guys that once we're at that point but just showing you guys our strut towers uh, with these plates so, yep. All right guys, so I think that's gonna be it for this video on our tubular front half. We got our strut tower um, loop welded in, and so I think that's gonna wrap it up for today uh, on our tubular front half on our Datsun 280ZX project. And uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a 82 Datsun, and it's getting an LS with a turbo. So we're doing the tubular front end in this video and then stay tuned for more as we're going to be doing more uh, tubes and tubbing. So yep, hit that like button, comment what you think, uh, tell us what we did wrong, and uh, peace.